welcome you all students today we are going to learn about morphology this term is actually the study of word forms or morphemes this topic is from the subject linguistics part 1 english code 102 this is our lecture number 13 we already have conducted 12 lectures in this lecture series program so without further ado let's talk about our today's topic and that is morphology it is derived from the Greek word morph meaning form and logos meaning word. So morphology is actually uh, the study of uh, forms of words in simple terms. Uh, here is actually the literal meaning of this uh, word. Thus, it is the study of morphemes or word forms and structures. So we actually study uh, structures of language, word forms of uh, language, how words are been formed and what are morphemes. Later in this lecture, we are going to explain what are morphemes as well. Because these are actually the key areas which we uh, are supposed to discuss. For example, the English word unfriendly is formed from three morphemes, a friend, by adding prefix un and suffix ly. So the word is uh, unfriendly. And this word is actually uh, formed of three morphemes, friend, un and ly so these uh, forms of words are known as morphemes in simple terms here so this is study uh, is known as morphology in linguistics here is something more and we are going to talk about its uh, origin the term morphology is generally attributed to the german poet novelist playwright and philosopher john wolfgang von Goethe. 1749 to 1832 who coined it clearly in the 19th century in a biological context so this person Gothi is actually coined this word in biological uh, terms and uh, this was actually the very uh, first use of uh, morphology uh, we must say in biology and in biological context morphology refers to the study of the form and the structure of organisms so how organisms uh, are been formed? What uh, are their structures? This was actually the very first uh, intentions of learning this uh, term. In geology, certainly it has a different meaning. It means to say in different branches of uh, science, yeah, it has been taken differently. In geology, it refers to the study of the configuration and evolution of land farms, how this land evolved and how uh, it has been configured. so this is actually uh, the study of uh, geology but here in simple terms because we are actually concerned with uh, linguistics in linguistics morphology is a systematic study of morphemes or how morphemes are joined to form words and how these uh, morphemes are been joined together and they make words so this is actually uh, the study of morphology in linguistics. In linguistics, morphology refers to the mental system involved in word formation. So our mental system, our uh, uh, mind, how the how it forms uh, words, or how uh, words are being formed in one's mind, are the, the branch of linguistics that deals with words, their internal structure and how they are formed, or even in linguistics, how the structures of language are formed. What are the structures? Actually, the structures of language like subject, verb, object, but where to put subject, where to put verb, object, and how these words like subject seem in simple terms, how this has been made up of our, what is the structure of this, that particular word. So this is actually uh, the study of morphology in simple terms. Here we are going to talk about the areas of morphology and those are morphemes and words as we already have learned or we already have discussed and these are actually the areas uh, which are part of definition of morphology. Morphemes, minimal units that cannot be further subdivided into meaningful units such minimal meaningful units of grammatical descriptions are generally referred as morphemes. So morphemes are actually, in grammatical terms, these minimal meaningful units. The smallest unit in language which has meaning or which has grammatical function. On the other hand, if we look at word, word is, is the 
single unit of language which means something and can be spoken or written so world is actually the single unit of language uh, which means something a single unit you have for example here is the example and it is very clear the word unlikely so unlikely is actually word it has meaning has uh, three morphemes unlike plus ly so this word is actually made up of are composed of are formed of three units unlike and ly so these are actually the morphemes so word is actually the single unit having single meaning but morphemes are actually the units within word so this is actually uh, are these are the areas of morphology which are known as morphemes and words here one more term we are going to refer and once again we are going to define morphemes words and lexemes which are actually part of uh, morphology morphemes as we already have learned these are minimal units that cannot be further subdivided into meaningful units are known as morphemes on the other hand words as word is a single unit of language which means something and can be spoken or written so any single unit which uh, is spoken or written is actually the word for example the word unlikely has three morphemes unlike and ly so if we analyze these definitions it is uh, very clear that the word is unlikely it is actually the single unit of language which is spoken or written but this word is actually when we say morpheme is actually the minimal unit which cannot be sub subdivided like un which is which cannot be subdivided because un is actually the meaningful or having grammatical function like and plus ly so this is are uh, these are the morphemes here is another term which we are going to refer and that is lexemes and uh, it is to some extent different but it is uh, uh, very similar are likely to be studied the smallest meaningful unit in the meaning system now this is also a smallest meaningful unit like morpheme but in the meaning system so this is the difference that lexeme is actually the smallest meaningful unit in the meaning system on the other hand morphemes is actually the smallest meaningful unit in a structure like so this is the difference so the smallest meaningful unit in the meaning system of a language that can be distinguished from other similar units. For example, the word pass away. Now pass away, it has very different meaning. Pass away means to say to die. Now it has a single meaning. This is the smallest meaningful unit in the meaning system. In meaning system, this uh, phrase or this idiom having single meaning. Pass away means to say to die or kick the bucket it has single meaning it is not divided into three meanings or uh, because three words are used three words but having single meaning give up it has single meaning bury the hatchet mean to say give giving up enmity so bury the hatchet it has single meaning it does not have three or two meanings because two or three words are used it has single meaning so in meaning system, the smallest unit in language is known as lexeme. Or here is another way to understand this lexeme that gave, gives, given, gave, and giving would belong to one lexeme gave because these all forms of a word are these all forms uh, in language uh, give us a single meaning. In meaning system, they are single. Means, uh, all these words gave gives given gave are give they give a single meaning thus we could say this is actually lexeme so this is uh, what we are going to talk about in morphology are uh, these are the areas of morphology thanks for attention thank you very much hopefully this would have been very helping for all the students